You brats. That's the boys. You have your own inside. Stop it. Look at Rocky. My sweet, sweet boy. Hi, Rox. You're so cute, my boy. You're so cute, my boy. Yes. And you're a good big brother. You guys. Look at Rocky. He's with the boys now. He's a manly man with all the boys. And Taz is as loud as ever. Here is your ma with your hay. You a happy boy? You're a happy boy. He's a bratty one that eats it from the wheelbarrow. The rest are all waiting. Look at Rocky. He's like, you better feed me on my hay feeder because I'm a little brat. You're a little brat. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, my man. All right. And there's no hay feeder. Let's get rid of this because it's probably peed and poop by all of you. Get it out, Dom. Dom, that's a feeder, love. That's a feeder. And see, I usually, with one plate, it's more than enough to fill this up. But I overdo it a little bit so they last longer. Or so it lasts longer. And I'm gonna bring them water. There you go, Shocky. Now I'm gonna try to catch him eating Rocky. Because while I was here, he wasn't eating, but... The thing is with Rocky is that since I'm in here, he won't eat if I'm around them because he feels like he needs to defend my honor or something. Like he won't let anybody get close to me. But right now, since I'm keeping my distance, he's eating. I'm going to step back a little bit. Taz thinks I'm going to give him something extra special for being a pain in the neck. I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> but look at him. Look at Rox. <laughs> he gained full movement. Let me show you. He gained full movement of his mouth. And he's eating like a champion. He's putting weight. His eyes are able to move now freely and he is a pretty happy boy with all the boys here. Dom likes to be a pain in the neck and step in the hay but now as I mentioned we're doing kind of a remodel for the boys we're gonna do a bigger house for them and we're gonna keep this cause, you know that extra pen is gonna be nice to have and I at this point I'm thinking that I'm gonna need so many different pens that I don't know if I'll probably will run out of room because I don't like to do pens that are too small like for instance this one you know it goes all the way there I mean there is room I'm gonna show you in the back they still have some room there but this was always meant to be temporary and that's what it is they have plenty of room for how many they are if I had more boys and probably this wouldn't be enough but the plan is to do the other pen over there do a bigger house a prettier to look house and uh, a more effective for cleaning because this bending for cleaning this house it's getting old I don't know if you can see let me see if I can show you he still favored this side, this side of the mouth to pick up stuff, but he can move everything. So. He just needs a good, good bath. His brother does need one too. Now probably Taz looks good since I gave him the last bath. And can you see how Taz 
it's starting to show a little bit more of the kind of I don't know what it is it's like a brown but with rounding so it looks a little bit wider almost like the twins so he is looking better and better I um, there are a few things that I'm still waiting for him to develop but it is 100% confirmed that he is pulled because of the formings on his head which we didn't know and the, the vet didn't know and disbutted him I should say and um, and now it, you can see his true colors like he has the brown, the black, white and that browning in that uh, brown, light brown color, which is so, so pretty. So I think it's gonna make, he's gonna be making some beautiful children this fall. Hmm. Cause I do want a few babies from him, especially knowing that he's so loud. He's the one that can upset me the easiest. So loud, so needy. And so he better, you know, we better put him to good use this breeding Later season. in the afternoon of the day that Annabelle kids, triplets, were born. And I put everyone inside, gave them some food. And now I open the door. And we'll see if Annabelle wants to come out with her babies for a little bit to stretch her legs. Because she was there at this point for over 24 hours. But we'll see if she's brave enough to come on. I guess she's not too interested. Annie! Annabelle! Annie, Annie, come here, sweet girl. Hi, dear girl. Oh, she's kind of worried about the dog and her other boy and her other children. She's kind of instructing them to stay there. You're also so stinking tiny. With your brother eating all your food. We hate eating all the girly food. Little boy, you say you're afraid. Hi, little girl. Are you coming with grabs? Okay, I'll pet you. Hi. Hi. 